I'm Jamila Thompson. I'm 17 years old, and today we are here at the Langston Hughes Library to show off my art. And you're the youngest person to have your stuff featured on these walls. Yeah. <laughs> what is it like when you're walking up the steps to essentially what's an exhibit with all of your work? It feels very invigorating and inspiring to me. I started doing art since I was like seven years old, and it's just really an escape for me, and I'm not very expressive when it comes to using my voice. But through art, I there's no holding back. Mixing colors is probably the most important part when it comes to realism. I really like drawing people. I actually usually start with the eyes, because that's my favorite part. I guess the eyes are the windows to the soul. Sometimes I'll just have a painting of just an eye like that. This one you said is your favorite, right? Yeah, it's one of my favorites, yeah. And it's your brother? Yeah. <laughs> Now, I loved what you did with this piece. Well, it's inspired by Africa and the African sunset, so I decided to make it seem like she was like looking out into that sunset and the, the sun was beaming those colors onto her face. I worked on it for like 90% of the day, and I missed a few meals because of that, because <laughs> I just get so into it. I didn't think anyone would you know, want to buy my piece, but then I was surprised that someone actually did. That really was kind of what set it off for me. Then like, so people actually do like my stuff. Is it surprising to you the difference in what people kind of vacillate toward? A little, but um, I, I guess, guess that's I can... what art's for, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's called African State of Mind. So I was trying to show that that's what she's thinking about, like Africa, and it's her whole culture. And there's birds here, and the bird is creating an eyelash, and the tree is stemming into her hair. So it's inside of her. Yeah. It's who she is. Yeah, it's who she is. It's made me more creative, I feel, and um, more thoughtful and expressive, and more comfortable with myself, actually. Art doesn't have just one distinct meaning. It can mean anything to anyone, and that's really inspiring to me.